So today I'm with Lee Scott from Starag again, and we're going to be talking about housings and discs, um, all parts from the aerospace or the, the, the aircraft engine. Um, there's a lot of episodes on our YouTube channel that we've done recently where we've been talking about all aspects of aerospace machining, the different materials, the different challenges, and also the parts being made for aircraft, including this. So Lee, what are housings and discs? Where do they go? And what machines do you guys use in order to manufacture them? Well, housings can, can fit anywhere, they're, they're, they're covers and housings. Um, and, and, and the reason we're combining that with discs is because this, this machine type does both. Um, the disc is the interface between the shaft of the engine and the position of the blade. So it is, as, it, as it's called, it's, it's simply a disc. So it's a turned component, but of course, where each of the blade fits in could have a different, different shape and size and configuration. So historically, they would have been made on different machine types we're combining them on a single platform. Okay, so the disc with the blades on is is essentially a blisk once it's made up, isn't it? Sure. It's just a different way of manufacturing it. You talk about a turn which appears a disc is the majority turned or would appear to be so. What you're saying is this machine turns too? Yeah, so so we, 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 we've put a high-speed turning table on this machine, so you've got a very heavy-duty trunnion, so we, we can bring the table from a horizontal load position up to the vertical if you're doing 90-degree turning, or we can tip it at, at any angle, and then we can move it to any position to produce the features in the end as well. And I suppose that's the advantage, the fact that you're doing both of those operations mm. without taking that disc off of the machine, aren't you? So you're insured precision. Yeah, and, and, and if we're doing a housing type component, there could be all sorts of different features here that are kind of demonstrated on this on this sample component, hence the reason we're, we're showing that right now. Yeah, I mean, this looks like it's about metal removal here, pocketing cycles and stuff like that, where you're, yeah, you're, you're creating this housing to maybe house what, some kind of electrical components, and things like that. Is that where these would typically be seen? Could, could be for anything, really. Could be for anything. So th this, is a, this is a true mill turn high speed platform, but it's also very heavy duty, as you can see. And what is this machine, Lee? So, th so this, this is part of Heckert's uh, compact range. So depending on the, on the, on the table size, this is what we, we would call a, a, an X machine with a trunnion or a T machine with a high-speed turning table. Now, we've covered a lot of content in um, recent episodes to do with aircraft parts. Uh, I can mention a few here, the, the casings, the discs, the blisks, the blades, the aerofoils, and the housings here. That's pretty much all aspects of, a, of an engine. Um, and we've talked about milling and turning, but there's another discipline as well involved, which is grinding, which is quite commonly needed. Why is it needed? And how do you do that? Because you can't do it on this machine, or maybe you can, but you have other options too. Well, it's needed because it's specified. So we manufacture what's on the drawing or, or on the model. So in, in, in a number of cases, um, certain features will, will be required to be ground, whether they be parent metal features or whether they're a honeycomb type feature. And for that, we'd use a machine from our Bertier range. So a TVU and RVU determines whether it's a turning mill type machine or, or, or a turning grind type machine. So we, we do a lot of work on, on, on discs and, and casings for, um, for features that require grinding. Um, I mean, it just struck me actually, Lee, when we've come to the end of this series now though, that we have literally talked about a lot of parts on aircraft which are made using your machines. This is a big market for Starag, isn't it? The aerospace sector. It's a huge part of what we do. So we, we, we break into segments, if you like. So uh, a segment could be aerospace that's split down into aerostructure and aero engine. So an aero engine is a large part of what we do within group. And then we try and specialize in certain features within that engine and we, and we try and be best in class. Okay, if you're really interested in aircraft and how you overcome the challenges of machining some of the parts that are included, not just in the engine, but across the aircraft, as Lee said, then you should go onto our YouTube channel and look for all of the episodes that we've uh, commissioned over recent days and weeks. Thank you very much for your time, Lee. Thank you.